Stop, you fiend! I have a firearm! Well, you're from Four Guys Guns, and today what we're going to talk about is something we get requested a lot for, and that would be, you know, inside the waistband holsters, concealed carry holsters, how do you move your gun around when you're out and about? A lot of people in a lot of states do allow and, you know, actively participate in open carry, but for those of us that want to be a little bit more discreet and maybe not advertise, hey, look over here, I got a gun. Let me introduce you to Stealth Gear. For those of you that aren't in the know, so to speak, Inside the Waistband, or IWB, is for those who have the legal right to conceal carry. Some states don't permit it, they only permit open carry, which means outside the waistband so everyone can see and love it. Now, with Inside the Waistband, you have a bunch of options. You have appendix carry, you have three o'clock, four o'clock, small the back, you have a bunch of different options. This one uh, generally seems to ride very well at three o'clock, four o'clock. The Stealth Gear USA holster uses a similar style that we've seen a million times over, only instead of using things like a leather backing, they're using a mix of like 1000D uh, Cordura with almost like a basketball jersey backing with a little bit of padding in between. What that does for you is that makes it breathable, it makes it padded, it makes it comfortable, and takes a lot of that imprint off your body and puts it back on you know, the gun itself. Now. With that being said, we had to run this for several months regardless because we live in New England, which means we see like seven temperatures, uh, seven seasons change over the course of, you know, four months. So it's been through rain, it's been through snow, it's been through hoth, it's been through, you know, summer and a spring and I've worn it in every single one of these conditions. I've worn it under multiple layers. I've worn it with just shorts on. It does phenomenal. It's breathable and it's fully adjustable. What I mean by adjustable is you have we have these nice little um, screws and they got spacers with rubber so you can actually tighten it down or loosen it depending on how you like your tension. So right here, we got this particular model for the Shield, the Shield 40. Yes, go ahead, type, I heard it. You can type 40, complain right down there. So 40, Shield 40, and it sits nice and snug. Now I actually run mine a little bit looser because as you saw the tactical muffin top, um, you know, it's, it's, in there, it only requires a slight tug, but you know, I was blessed with the glorious talent of having no rear end, so I generally tighten my belt pretty tight. So this thing gets pinched nice and tight in there, thus adding the perfect tension. And it's really easy to do with standard Allen keys um, that allows you to just cinch it down, you know, do a quarter turn all the way around, pull on it, see if you like it. But it's really hard, I think it's a 0 0.8. 0.8 Kydex, it doesn't say it on there, I'm just gauging just by looking at it because I'm that good. Um, so we got the metal J hooks, and it, as you can see, it conforms to around you, it's flexible, it's breathable. You can see right through this thing with light behind it, which means come summertime, come springtime, come everywhere else but New England, it's gonna breathe. It really is quality. I've used a couple different brands before, you know, the leather backed with the metal J hooks or the plastic hooks, you know, mixed with Kydex, we've all seen it before. These guys actually do a different take on it. So that's all we got. Uh, by all means, please comment, subscribe, like in the bottom. Let us know what you think or what you actually use. And uh, you with the 40 comments, no one cares. You stay safe, check your chambers. We'll see you on the range. So from here on out, let's just use that. Touche, sir. I'm just a love machine. And I don't want to put nobody but you. Stop, you fiend! I have... <laughs> Gear USA Onyx inside the waistband holster. That just sounded really broken up and taken apart. All right. So, 